control. There's the second of the Vipers. And there's the Chamberlain. Oh, the touch! Oh, and into the arm goes very hard. Goes the mark off. Matty Uzi spins and collects the cap. It's an unlucky number four, frightening a car. Well, that clearly wasn't the fault of Harold Becker in the Marcos. And quite what happened there, hard to see, but they definitely touched, and he was probably fairly unkindly from behind. And that Marcos is going nowhere. It doesn't look as if the Viper is going. That tells you everything. Well, good job we can't hear him, otherwise we'd have to censor this. Becker clearly unhappy with that, cannot believe what has just happened to his race on that too. Here it is again on board with Jürgen von Gartzen, the brake lights going on as they go on towards the chicane, but long before that, long before Becker had touched the brakes, there's bits of car all over the place, and as we saw that number four Porsche of Palmberger also caught up in it, here it is again, just poked up the boots and into the armco, bodywork everywhere. Matiozzi very nearly got away with it, but Palmberger didn't stand a chance, and he is almost certainly out of this one.